Alright lads, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 and the Red Flood mod as the Caucasian of... Uh, 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 Federation of Caucasian Soviets, there we go. I apologise for not getting a video out for about, what will it be, four or five days by the time you see this tomorrow. Um, haven't had much enthusiasm to play Stalin. Also just been doing other stuff. Went to a nice staff barbecue. Been playing a lot of War Thunder though, I really, I'm really close to getting that P40 for the Italians. God, it's a nice looking tank. Just wish it wasn't riveted. But either way, we are back. The war is going well, from what I remember, against the reactionary Gorgolov, I guess. We, he hates uh, so many people. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of all summed up very nicely in this uh, horizontal string of focuses. Let me remember. No small hats, no reds, no monarchists, no republicans. Yeah, no moneyists, no minorities, no small hats, no monarchists, and no reds. I'm surprised no republicans isn't in there as well. That is, uh, Chervenet's currency system, yeah. <laughs> like, god damn, how many people do you want to kill? By the way, we're back with a whole swath of bonuses, as Trad pointed out in the comment section, yeah. That this is literally Antichrist magic. Well, it's not magic, just Antichrist. S spiritual degeneracy. But th that's where all these buffs are coming from. Because, uh, I won't spoil it. I already kind of did. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Yes, we're about to take this and to take Makach Kala. Alright. Uh, there'll probably be, be quite a bit of lag, but let's go. I've also been playing some of the base game. I've been playing the Spanish Empire, uh, Jose Antonio. What else have I been playing? Uh, that's kind of, uh, yeah, that was kind of a bit. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Tamir Kanshura. Not familiar with that place. One of our main objectives here is to cut this rail line running through Grozny and Makach Kala and advance this river. I'm not sure what the name of that river is, but we need to get there, basically. Then from that river onto this river, and now up into this river, Ekaterinodar. Up onto the big rivers, the Don and the uh, Volga. And by then, I'm sure Rasputin will be uh, arriving. Now, one of the people raised, or hold, rather. Because you don't want to lose too many men doing this, but at the same time, you know, you need to wrap it up as quickly as possible. Well, not taking horrendous losses at the same time. We are reasonably evenly matched. Into, well, actually, I think they might have still have a manpower advantage. Yeah, they definitely have a manpower advantage, perhaps also a material advantage. But we have a uh, spiritual, quote-unquote, uh, advantage, yeah. Why is that motorized division over there where in the mountains? God damn, I hate that. Anything extra we can do here? Yeah. Yeah, how long until you leave? 22 hours will wait. <coughs> no, you attack here. You attack here. Supporting attacks everywhere. You hold. Oh, fantastic, there's, there's about to be a great big monthly tick. Well, that was a quick. Hey, what's playing now? Sounds like German. Yeah, it's Serbia Strong. What? Did, did I not play the playlist properly? Carl Sonner, he makes good music. It uploads good music, rather. No, not that one. This one. Come on. There we are. Now, that's all fine. Yeah, that's good. It's all good. No, actually, I've been forgetting to use these, the, the previous, um... Series. I, I assume that we're going for, uh... 
What are we going for? We haven't picked one yet. We should go Mass Assault. Yeah. Do we do we have any theorists or anything like that? We oh, perfect, perfect. Got Anatoly and Anatoly Gecker. We you know I usually pick uh, you know superior firepower because it's the best option. It just is. But um, we'll change it up. We'll change it up. Playing the Reds, we'll go Mass Assault, and we'll go the good Mass Assault as well, not Mass Mob. Oh man, why would you ever go Mass Mob? I don't even know what's in here to be honest. That's nice to be fair. That's very nice. For a 5% five, five critical pop. But see, when you're playing something like the Soviet Union, you don't need that because you already have so many people. Yeah, we gotta go deep battle. Now, do I have the one that gives me the. Uh... Yeah, no, professional officer corps first. That'll give me the land doctrine, cost minus 5%. Perfect, grab that. Right, roll on. See, I love small wars like this. When things get so big that you can just, uh, you know, do Operation Green Button, as. Uh... As we like to say on the Discord, it just gets boring because you, you, you just win, you know? Whereas this, you actually have to manage. Like a relatively small army here, 24 divisions, or 23 divisions rather. So, so much more interesting. Here's actually a great opportunity for an encirclement. Someone's probably barely laughing out there. I don't know if the mic picked that up, but I kind of hope it did. To let you get there. Oh, yeah. No, no. Yeah. Uh, one of you hold. Yeah, that's perfect. Ah, nice. Hey, don't go anywhere. Civil War in Anatolia. Oh, no, I've got nothing to support you. Hold on, please. Actually, Easy gains right here. You go here. Hold. Actually, you no. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you just go. There. No, you don't all need to do that. Redeploy to the front. Oh, looks like they'll take that. Or we can launch an attack. Prevent them from doing so. Then when someone gets there, they'll hold. Nice. Now, easy in circumference here of three divisions. So we'll do it. Love that Red Flood has, has implemented the Caspian Sea as an actual sea. Or uh, as an actual naval zone, you know, where you can see you can see the port here. That gets Cal as a port as well. Now we'll pin you. Under attack, yeah, that's fine though. I think. Don't pull, yeah, they're attacking Gossip River, don't pose too much threat. Counter attack with you. You go here. Getting flashbacks of the Samara and uh, multiplayer game. Oh no, no, the uh, no, the first, the first thing, yeah, the first MP game. I was playing Tukhachevsky, yeah. I was fighting Samara, also for Samara. That was, a, that was a good game. We need to have another MP game. Second one wasn't great because. reasons. Even though the second one was like three and a half hours and the first one was five and a half hours, the first one was just better. Hold here. Ooh, we need to destroy this bridgehead. Don't have forces in place to do so yet, though. Okay. 
push on grass that's a supply hub it is fantastic Let's do that hold here casualties what are we looking at 18k to 61k that's, mm, that's very nice Ooh. Novorossiysk landing. Denikin fucked up the evacuation at Novorossiysk in our own timeline. That's one of the reasons why Wrangell's evacuation of Crimea was so good, is because uh, there was, you know, they had to correct the mistakes at Novorossiysk where men got left behind and equipment got left behind. Oh yeah, now we can now we can attack here. Perfect. Oof. You and you to support this. Produce Kavkaz and equipment, please do. Yeah, we're running short on infantry weapons. Pump it up. Avant guard France, what is that flag, man? No. Knights of Utopia, yeah. The Whites have the Knights of Honor and Duty, we have the Knights of Utopia. Military factory sounds good to me. Hold here. Trucks, do we have many? We do have some. Maybe an active parcel level of motorization. We can do that. Fantastic. It's what you love to see. Grozny is ours. Fan oh, huh? oh, right. Oh, shit. That's kind of early. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Look at him. Look at him run. <laughs> oh, my God. They're booking it. I'm thinking it might be time for a general offensive. The Black Lands? Where the hell is that? Oh, it's, I'm guessing it's you. Yeah, 34th. Are you the Finno Egyptian guy? Yeah, yeah, you are. You are. Huh. Well, uh, that's good actually. That keeps fucking the Turks, or not the Turks, uh, Drozdovsky busy. For a little while at least. Go, go, go. Actually, not fucking general offensive. <laughs> Basic medium tank sassy. Don't have the industry to uh, exploit these breakthroughs and research, but once we do, we will. Yeah, 
straight up to Astrakhan. Fantastic. Probably follow that rail up to Volgograd. There we are. Up, up we go. Encirclement here? No. Good. Make up. For the division, fantastic. Doctrines are available. Mass assault, 2% reinforce rate, minus 10% minimum training level, weekly war sport combat casualties, plus 0.1%. Live off the land. <laughs> Live off the land. Oh, beating out of Stavropol. Ah, there we go. Got the rail. territory they're about to take. Okay, well, there's a lot of battles there, at least. That means that the uh, Russian National Peasant Republic actually has troops up there, which means that they want us to be able to steamroll them, hopefully. Stop that. Okay, they're doing that, so we'll do this. Casualties have skyrocketed, no doubt, yeah, 34k. In the meantime, we can be reading these focuses, because I didn't get a chance to read them. Motorization contracts with Italy, with all due respect to French automobiles, there is no doubt that the best cars are made in Italy would benefit both our nations to establish contracts with Italian motor companies to produce motorized equipment for our army. Ten army experience, hundred opinion of each other. Currently gets two buildings out of one military factory. We get a 75% research bonus for trucks. We get fuel advisors, which grants armor technology. Production cost minus 15%. Division speed plus 2%. Special forces capacity multiplier plus 7.5%. King of Italy, armor license production cost minus 30%. Italian Regency of Carnaro, armor license production cost minus 30%. Well, we can just get it from like the King of Italy rather than fuel. That's kind of crazy. This general offensive is not going as well as I had hoped. Even with them being distracted. Oh, man. At least our Ritzen is ours. Yeah. They're just stomping up here in the north. Please tell us we still have the... Yeah, we still have the majority of the war score. Actually, there we go. Alright, now what did they take? Well, that's just blatantly unfair because, you know... Yeah, we took both of these, so this is us. Guess you can have... Uh... Yeah, you can have that. Ah, we just have a nice long river to dig in along. Isn't that perfect? God, I love that. Assuming that what? Yeah, assuming that draws Dobbs doesn't. Uh, but he's busy with Finland, hopefully. Now we gotta we gotta do this and then like come across here. Yeah, perfect. No doubt they already have war goals on us. So hurry up. Get there. As quickly as humanly possible, please. Have we inter integrated conquered territories? Yeah. All those delicious cores. All that delectable industry. Why must you choose the most? Couldn't you have. We're in the Yeah, there we go. That loo pig. Let's 
more steel, less tungsten. Now, need to kill out this division. Oh, God. It's, what's that? Yeah, it's a 6 1. That's horrible. Go for a standard division template and a 9 3. It's a historical template as far as I'm aware. Triangular division. Uh, yeah. Infantry. Infantry. Hey, these, these shock troops. Uh, how, how good are they? Actually, you know what? Uh, before we do that, let me just. New template. So we got shock troops 6.3 and 1. Okay. I mean, they're a bit better. Not wildly, but... Ooh, they got a Nistov, though. Oh, I see. Better recovery, better org. Better HP. Let's see. Paratroopers. Paratroopers have a ridiculous org for some reason. Starkly not accurate. <laughs> you know? Think of, you know, Arnhem Crete. By the way, I'm just going with this for now. I mean, what, what do you cost extra? Support equipment, that's it. And and extra infantry equipment. So if we if I wanted to like fully deck out this Oh it's special forces, that's what it is. I knew I knew there'd be a bloody catch. Always is. Let me just quickly check the recording, make sure all is well. Because it better be. All seems to be well. Fantastic. Now that is a nine three one two three four five six seven eight nine. Yep, yeah. perfect. We're going to be short infantry equipment and artillery, but feck it, we'll be earned. We'll get enough of that soon enough. Air force, yeah, we actually have that. Wow, well, I want forty aircraft for lucky. Fifty one, high life. Oh, and we've an air base. Oh, but we'll lose it. That's the same. We'll lose this one as well. God damn it. Oh, we have one here. Our least mountaineers. 10 army experience, 250% resource bonuses for mountaineers technology. The Caucasus Mountains occupy a vast portion of our country. Yeah, there we go. Which would normally disallow troop movements in those regions. However, if we invest in creating dedicated mountaineer forces, our armies can easily traverse the mountains as well as taking advantage of the high ground they provide. Well, come and get it. Being attacked at Astrakhan almost immediately. Actually, what are we doing with our uh, civilian industry? Might be worth it to build up a line of forts here. God knows what, Ras what uh, Rasputin will try and throw at us. So you can just, yeah, just drop that down to... Nope, nope, don't do that. We... No, we're still on partial mode. Okay, we can go to war economy. That's good. Uh... What about you? Are any of you actively under attack right now? No. Didn't do that then. Just have one template. I'm picked, picked to focus, my bad. Who soldiers morale? 10 army experience. Add Knights of Utopia, which grants truck production cost minus 10%. Uh, recruitment population 1%. Cavalry attack plus 10%. When we say that our soldiers must know their place, we mean this in a positive connotation. The average soldier should see himself as a noble knight, fighting for something beyond himself. These soldiers and the people shall be made aware that our army is all that stands between our utopia and destruction. Why aren't, why aren't you taking that province across the river? Oh. The Brazilian tragedy. Have they collapsed? I thought they were always collapsed, no? Did they not collapse at the start of the game? Or have they just collapsed again? Oh, that's rough that they just collapsed again. Have they unified and then... Well, what am I since start of the game? It's only 37, surely not. Oh yeah, see, we're gonna attack by four divisions here. There doesn't need to be three divisions in Kamisha, in all fairness, now. Get another division in there. Master Macno, army experience gain, plus 0 0.09 daily. 
And we are sport plus uh my, yeah, and we sport minus ten percent. It would be rather bad if it was plus ten percent. Now, basic armor protection. That'll help us get our land auction faster. That, that's the main reason I picked it. I don't really care about the rest. Casualties. 732 to 26,000. Rasputin is trying to make World War I generals of the Western Front blush. Should be filling that artillery deficit nicely. Slovak Revolution. Uh, we all know that's going to fail. I love Armenia is just here, just like completely safe because we just do know we just haven't had the time to go after them. Too busy. Why would you ever go that way? Land doctrine, fantastic. Ooh, no, nothing that'll benefit us immediately, though. Back of defense, none. Combat out of supply penalties, minus 10%. Supply grace, 48 hours. Adam and Seminov unifies Mongolia. I don't think I've ever seen that before. in the steps. Yeah, he's got Chiza, he's got Verknudinsk, Nusinsk, Ulela. Okay, in all fairness now, Zelda, see, you really shouldn't be having too much trouble with Gada. He's got, like, not, he's, he doesn't, he should not have very many divisions. From what I remember. Yeah. Like, what? If you fucked that up, Rosenbaum, you were just sad. Be great actually if fucking Vlasov could attack Rasputin. I'm trying to shift the division up here to uh, actually go around. I don't want you getting held up at the front. Shift the division over. Why did you move both? I did not ask you to do that. I don't believe I did. If I did my bad. Hey, Jose Antonio. At least none of them are moving in. Sorry, campaign continues. Three divisions here just casually ignoring the gap in the front line. Casualties. 1,000 to 83,000. Those casualties will only increase as we get more and more artillery. Is the Queen of Battle the one for, uh... Yeah, our Doctrine. That's the one for our Doctrine. Okay. Eh. Not great. Oh, we'll have to get political loyalty. Okay. Oh, no. That's because of our ideology, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll hold off. We're about to get another uh, level of doctrine. Like, like this is this is not cheese. Like you know, I'm not encircling divisions, destroying them, then retreating so that the enemy walks back in. And I encircle and destroy them again. Like this, I'm literally just holding a defensive line, and they will not stop attack. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. This is nice. Leg infantry, five org, and max intention plus five. Defense in depth. That is going to be very, very useful. We ain't getting across the river now. No, sir. Okay, what are we working on? I actually haven't really looked at this much. I looked at the tank tree. Alright, and that was kind of it. This is still only 37. Yeah, we're making good, good progress. Artillery. Yeah. Get this. We are actually filling that artillery deficit, aren't we? We are. Good. Good, good. How's it going up there? Ooh, yeah, here you are winning. Weird that, like, uh, the Intermarium just does absolutely nothing until uh, Russia is unified. It's kind of outrageous, to be honest. Now, integrate the conquered... Ooh, actually, no, do I want to get this? No? Ah, I'm fine. Integrate the conquered manpower. We have no intentions of excluding or ostracizing the peoples we conquer, for we know that the whole world cannot be ruled by Russians and Trans-Caucasians alone. Local cultures are to be treated with respect, and all nationalities shall be made equal in the eyes of the army. Modify Knights of Utopia by recruitment population plus one percent, a resistance target minus ten percent reduction, truck production cost plus ten percent. Well, okay. Ha! You're doing force attack. That's cute. Oh shit! Get in! Get in! Get in! It's over. Then. Let me get a live casualty record as they commit these attacks. Ho! Oh. Basic armor protection, fantastic. More artillery, yes, please. Improved armor protection. How they haven't taken that last time. Oh, it's our John Akidza. Hmm. Honestly, War Economy sounds pretty good to me. Now, review our economy. 
Our policy of establishing a command economy has brought development to the society, yet for the nearly 20 years of Kavkaz's existence, the great transformation was only beginning. Now that the energies of the people are gathering again, we stand at a crossroads. Should we listen to the economists proposing weakening the state's grip on the economy and implementing certain free market policies? Or should we continue our old direction and begin a new grandiose plan of centrally planned industrialization? Two fifty percent research bonuses for industry. Begin the five year plan. Change in popularity of Vanguard public controllism minus 4%. Change in popularity of accelerationism 3%. Add planned economy, which grants construction speed. Production efficiency cap. Factory output and docket output plus 5% each. Currently, currently gets everything, lad. I don't know why. Uh, add two billing slots. Our revolution shall not surrender to the temptations of the capitalist roaders. We shall continue our road to redism on a straight path of state planning. Our experts have already drafted a ground plan of industrialization that will reforge Caucasus into a worthy cradle of the future. All remaining private property will be nationalized, opening the way towards true public controlism. Workers will be organized into labor armies, and the state shall take over all facets of economic life. Ah, of course you will go after the fucking Mong Mongols and that's yeah. Rasputin. Alright, time to get rid of the uh, fallback line and draw ourselves a front line. Something like this should be good. Hopefully there won't be too much changes. Yeah, not too bad. Or too many changes, rather. Casualties. 8k to 213,000. Did you declare war on the Russian Republic? Did you do it? You did. Why would you do that? Oh no, that's okay, they declare war on you. Unfortunate for you. Death of Ludendorff. How are we going to do this? Rush up here. Try to rush to this river. Cut them off. Big encirclement, maybe. They do still have a lot of men. I say we let them bleed a little while longer. Not deficit of artillery yet either. Now, technocratic planning, modified planned economy by political power gain plus 10%, production efficiency cap, factory and dockyard output plus 5% each. In capitalist lands, the wonders of technology, though they may be in abundance, are organized into a pathetic chaos and nonsense. This will not be the case for us, thanks to our control of the economy. We will let only the brightest and the most experienced to guide our transformation, so all the wonders we create will function in perfect order and harmony. That will overshadow the highest skyscrapers in Manhattan. Now I reckon it's time to start building up something of a military industry. Let's we'll start in Azerbaijan. Or Iran Shirvan. Oh damn, no more uh no more doctrine buffs. It's unfortunate. Gotta wait till what? Uh eighty. Okay. Not bad, supply consumption reduction. Frontline is completely silent. Did we just build our first one already? No. I can say what. They still retain a significant force in the field. But we do have a larger industry than that. Where are the supply hubs? This is one. Yeah. It's not. This is one, obviously. Yeah. Guriev is one and all that. 
weapons. Yeah, we're very weak here. Opera Winter arrived. Oh, yeah, you can move back to New York. It's fine. Holy shit, would you leave us alone? Oh, it's black consumption reduction. Fantastic. Not that. Finally. Not right here. The Workers' Paradise, all our grand industrialization projects bring a demand for new housing. The new dynamic cadre of architects take, uh, took this opportunity to create a perfect town for the workers of a new foundry called uh, Akali Sham Sam Shkmelo in Transcaucasian. The new settlement is a monument to the superiority of careful urban planning over the chaos and anarchy of capitalism. Housing over 5,000 workers, the settlement includes collective kitchens, daycare for children, a first-class hospital and a cinema. A schooling program was also introduced both for children and adults aimed at making the newly urbanized peasants model public control of citizens. The town is a testing ground for many of our new apartments an innovative mode of labor and collective living. One day we will all live like this. Hopefully not. Macno can get buffs. I'm sure expert fantastic both time. That supply hub? Yeah it is.
Start bringing up new divisions. Now, infrastructure public works. Our economy cannot function if we can't get enough people and materials in place to place our public works projects over the next several months to focus on public infrastructure so that our economy can, pro can function properly. Two 50% resource bonuses for industry. Cabardino, Balcaria gets two building slots and two levels of infrastructure, as does currently again, bro. Why does currently get so much? Ooh, very nice right here. Encirclement is not as great as it could have been, but hopefully we'll still yield something. Hundred and seven millimeter guns.
Never mind, I spy something better. Now, a steel grip of the proletariat, more control, more factories, more railways, more steel, more guns, more oil. The economic enthusiasm of our society is booming. The worker state only needs these raw mass energies for creation. Our new economy will be moving perfectly like a self-replicating machine. Strict supervision and bold dreams will be able to bring all the bounty of nature under our dominion. Emirati gets two building slots and one civilian factory. Ah, we took Goriev. Fantastic. Now. Armored car organization plus two tanks organization plus two. Yeah, that's not useful yet. Casualties. Actually, uh, let's do that. Oh. 97, I didn't think you were that close. Okay, so try and nab that. It's a little supply hub right there, no doubt. Oh, not easy. Oh. To create the conquered territories, how much artillery do we have? Not much. Well, at least you're busy, so we'll put them. Yeah. Actually, no. Armenia. Attack Armenia. Rush down there. Running out of trucks, are we? No, we're all good. Barely. Ah, fantastic. More artillery. How many men in the army? 260,000, okay. Our flag. I don't think I've ever seen Armenia with a flag like that before. Oh, sea access is gone. That's rough. Actually, no, not this. Expand uh, Sakumi and Batumi shipyards. Although we are not exactly a powerhouse, we need a navy to defend our holdings on the Black Sea coast. The shipyards operating in Sakumi and Batumi must be invested in and expanded for the sake of survival. Emoretti gets two building slots and two naval dockyards, and Batumi gets one building slot and one naval dockyard. So that's more dockyards for convoys. Now, as for. Yes, military factory, thank you. Casualties here. Oh, we're off. Barrier off. That easy. Now up onto the border of the Russian Empire, which is incredibly long. Train up as many as we can. Now, 
National Trade Union, that's nice. Yeah, the National Trade Union. Change the popularity of polyarchy minus 4%, change the popularity of accelerationism 3%, add National Trade Union, which grants political power gain 10%, factory and docker to output plus 5% each. If we form a state trade union which all workers can join, then not only can we help protect the workers directly, but we can also control this trade union to our own ends. Gone are the days of spontaneous strikes crippling the economy. Train up if you need to. Now military factories. Did you have any good areas of infrastructure? No. It's fine. We still have one good area left. Oh yeah, we get 13. Yeah, currently, yeah, yeah, yeah. There we are. Finally putting car Oh yeah, and then we got a Cabardino Balkiri as well. And Zarit. Yeah, I don't even have enough troops to hold the front line yet. What are you up to? You've got the Baltics and you've got Finland. So you have done some expansion. Yeah, very large army. Be interesting to see who will win over here. I'm hoping it's Zelto Rosia. They're... Are they? Eh, I don't know. Actually, no, it might be Vlasov who's closer to us, to be honest. It's kind of a bit. They're both fairly far away from us. God, Lord, that's a lot of war. Where's the war? I'm blind. There we are. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oof, never mind. Vlasov is losing hard. Can't do that yet. Now, Naval Doctrine Dispute. Navy Experience plus 50 gets the choice of Naval Doctrine. To our surprise, the seemingly innocuous choice of Naval Doctrine has become a full-blown dispute amongst our military theorists. The choice has now been left to the leaders of state, and the choice we make will dictate not only which theorists we favour, but also which, where, whether our naval defences will be sufficient. Did I draw you for a bit? No, I did not. It's a mistake. Get one there for you. Some new divisions. Fantastic. Who will we put in command? Georgi Mazniev. We have some political power. We'll hang on to it for a while. Yeah, there goes uh, Siberia. Now, choice of naval doctrine. Ever since the end of the Great War, the Black Sea has been an open season hunting ground. We must not fall behind on advancing our own ideas of ruling the oceans to guarantee our trade goods to pass the Bosporus freely. How we go about it is entirely left to the minds of our admiralty, with all theories being thrown around freely. Either we can fo uh, follow the ideas of a standing battle fleet to scare our opponents with the might of our gigantic cannon boats alone. Cannon boats, not battleships, cannon boats. I like that a lot more. Make them uh, fear our might so that they never dare to even come close to our shores. Another idea is more voiced by the more pragmatic wing of our young navy. Cripple their trading fleet, 
sink their transports. The wolf pack will guard for their furious hunt and strike fear into the heart of every sailor willing to enter our waters where he might not ever be able to leave. Lastly, we could choose to directly attack their Achilles heel and bomb their ports down to ashes. Our new carriers would set out to heroically rule the skies like eagles as they drive towards their floating prey. Whatever we make of these proposals is left to ourselves completely as our word marks the ultima ratio. In any case, we will make them fear our naval might. Yeah, trade interdiction because it's the cheapest. I don't like Russia having a big navy. It makes no sense. We're a land power. We focus on the land. We focus on the air. The sea is whatever. We can trade with three continents all by land. I just don't give a shit. God, what I wouldn't give for some unique... Like, like this is unique. Can I come in like an SVT-40 here? PPSH here? PPS-43 here? Just something like that. Just a little taste. Something unique. It's killing me. How many people do we now control? 41 million. You're looking hefty. I suppose I can sign a non aggro pact with you, can I? You do like us. Oh, that, yeah, that, that's from the start of the game, I remember that. Yeah, improve relations. How we can embargo. You, you're neutral on us, that's interesting, to say the least. Still don't yet have enough men to hold the front. Not even close. Until you become available. In fact that you can finish that. Uh... Yeah, there we go. It's better. You can finish your training in the field. Need more divisions. Yeah, 37 will do. Hundred and seventy six days. Hundred and forty two days, it's fine. No choice of air doctrine. The revolution must be spread by the way of arms wherever necessary. Our struggle across your age will only prevail by embracing the most recent innovations in the military field. Establishing an air force capable of waging effective war in these skies is absolutely crucial. The military staff now needs to decide on the doctrine to follow in developing our air force. Our army finds itself in numerical disadvantage against the empire, with some calling for air support to be the main focus, so we bring our land forces on fighting parity with, uh, with our czarist enemies. Alternatively, concentrating our efforts on bombing enemy infrastructure may prove more effective, as the enemy armies will be thoroughly crippled by their destroyed supply lines. Meanwhile, other officers remind everyone to abstain from bold plans while our industry still nascent. Yeah, literally, like... Oh, my God. We have the manpower now. We just need the... You know, infantry equipment and artillery to put those men in the field. And incapable of producing large swaths of fighters at the moment. Uh, after intense discussions where industrial capacity and finer details of military theory were thoroughly analysed, a decision has been made. Cheat destruction? No. Battlefield support and operational integrity? Yeah, just go battlefield support. Spanish National Front, fantastic. So that's uh, Jose Antonio. There he is. With that beautiful black flag with the red arrow and yokes. Or yoke and arrows, rather. We, we, we wish he had that flag in the base game. You get a, a similar flag uh, during the Spanish Civil War when, you're, when, you, when you become the Spanish Directory. But then when you end the Civil War, you basically just kind of get the, the red and yellow flag. And you still have the yoke and arrows on it, but the yoke and arrows are very small. For some reason, I don't like that. Do we actually have enough men to hold the front line? I see one gap. Piers, yeah, mostly. It's good. One gap is all we have that'll have to do for now. Men in the field, 518,000. Okay, good. Now, Utopia of Warrior Poets. Division attack and defense on core territory plus 2% each. Resistance target minus 5%. Daily acceleration war plus 0.1. And when the stomach is full for the last time and the famous wind ceases to blow, humanity will reach its final stage. Utopia.
How are we doing? Not too bad. Eighty-seven days. Yeah, perfect. And good sync. See, I don't want to do this because I don't want to influence the Russian Empire to attack us instead of uh, Zelda Rossiya to do it. Do uh, division, yeah, army training. Get these divisions in, in trained up faster. Get these divisions in the field faster. All that good stuff. Some trucks actually wouldn't be too bad either. Yeah. But all right, let's hope you enjoyed today's episode. We knocked out Gorglov, we knocked out Rasputin. We have got a sizable army in the field with many more men coming. Our industry is humming along nice. We've got 50 military factories, mostly on infantry equipment and improved artillery. See, in my head, like the, these are I, I, like SVTs and PPSH-41s, and these are the 107mm guns that, in our own timeline, were a bit unreliable, so the Soviets didn't uh, put them into production. Well, you know, they did, but just not a whole lot of them. The ZIS-3 was the main one, which was only 76.2mm. But, um, yes, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider liking, subscribing, as well as commenting down below. I shall see you in the next episode, where we shall be fighting probably both the Russian Empire and Jeltorosia. See you then.